So, we did it. We did it. We really, really did it, guys. We have finally done it. We've cracked 750,000 subscribers. That means we are three quarters of the way to one million subscribers. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Anunnaki Genesis. No, Anunnaki Genesis. Get it right, Miola. Get it right. But welcome back, guys. Uh, yeah, massive news. Huge news. The day has finally come. The day that I never imagined ever coming has finally done. I feel like I, feel like I owe you guys a bit of a celebration celebratory dance i feel like we gotta celebrate today Seven hundred and fifty thousand subscribers guys i never expected ever 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 to reach a number of this magnitude i never yeah i don't know i never expected anything really but um i couldn't have done this without you i i appreciate you all thanks to each and every one of you guys who's helped us get this far on the chill but you know what this means right you know what this means let me just hold on hold on serious talk here for a sec you know what this means it means the final, the final run now begins. We've made it three quarters of the way to the million, which means we have one quarter left to go. 250,000 subscribers left to go to crack that big old seven figure milestone. The one zero, 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 the big one, the gold play button one. <laughs> But hey, that's that's miles away. If that ever comes, let's not even worry about that. Today is about celebrating what we've been waiting all this time for. Earlier on this year, I started out like a like a, a bit of a you know, it was kind of a joke more than anything. Back in May or so, it was a bit of a meme. I was just joking around a little bit, saying, "Hey, seven hundred and fifty thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Can we do it? Can we do it?" Uh, turns out you guys said yes, yes we can. Uh, and then you guys just responded with such just uh, such. Uh, gusto i don't know what word to use other than gusto <laughs> that then we changed it to hey can we hit 750k by my birthday turns out yeah we could we could do that as well easily easily done it by november 11th in fact here we are the 21st of october not my birthday but my wife's birthday. <laughs> I think you guys misheard me. It wasn't 750k by my wife's birthday. It was 750k by my birthday. Anyways, on a side note though, happy birthday to her. Hey, if you just want to go and drop her a, a happy birthday message, head over to her Instagram. Uh, you can find it through mine or it's just at elena.miola, I think. Or 11, Elena Miola. I can't even remember. I have it on the screen. If you got Instagram, go over, comment on her story or her profile or message. Just drop her a happy birthday. Let's see if we can just spam that inbox for full of them. It'll be pretty funny. Anyways, let's get into this episode, guys. I have named a few of our dinosaurs. We now have ourselves Slicey the Mantis. I th I th I, yeah, look, it's a fitting name. Look at, the look at these giant little slices, man. What are you going to call him other than Slicey? We've then got Dicey, um, the Dilo. I think he's got a good ring to it. Same first couple letters. Um, and I mean, he's a little Dicey. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a good, like, meaning to the word dice. I don't know. It just sounded cool. Slicey and dicey. And then in here, we have still comp 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 Sognath. Yeah, I, I haven't named him yet. So if you got any naming suggestions for my dude here, let me know down below in the comments. Um, but, hey, reading through the comments today, I learned a thing or two. I know, right? About time we learned a few things. Uh, turns out I've actually never had a Mantis before. Yeah, never really tamed one of these guys up, at least from memory. I mean, I'm not sure if I had one back in my Scorched Earth, like, original series, ways, ways, ways back in the day when that first came out, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Either way, I had no idea about this. These guys have an awesome functionality that I didn't ever know that even existed. You can equip tools on them. In fact, had I just, you know, read their little thing here, I, I would have known that. Uh, you can give them tools, and then you can go ahead and, like, use him for things like, I guess, can we collect... Can we break rocks? Right? That's the whole point of this thing. We can go and collect flint and metal for that. Oh my gosh, we're getting a bunch of metal here. Oh good, because that's literally like the resource that I need right this second. Uh, dude, how good is this? How good is that? I finally got like the all around harvester. In fact, I'm sure I could almost even give him a, can I give him a spear? No way, can I give him a spear? Really? Ah, uh, how about a bow? Imagine you can give your mantis a bow. That'd be pretty darn cool. Uh, can I give him your pike? Oh, I can. Oh, you better believe I can. <laughs> Look at him. I swear, like, from memory, I reckon I've seen these guys running around with swords before. And I always thought it was like a mod thing. I didn't realize it was an actual thing that you can do with your own. I didn't even know if this is a vanilla thing, but damn, look at him. 1.1 thousand damage. That's even more than he was dealing a second ago. Wonder what happens when I do this. Okay. okay. I guess I'm not accurate enough with that attack. Let me try again. <laughs> they just too fast. Galimimuses be running all over the place. Hold on. 
I just want to see what, how terrifying it looks. So having like a, a mantis charge at you with like two giant spears in his hands. How about... Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're joking. For a second there, I thought I was going to be able to put a crossbow on him. Have a look, right? When I hold it, they're like flashing, but no, you can't do it. Oh, it's worth a shot. But we can also do hatchets, of course. That is obviously the, yeah, the last tool that we haven't checked out yet. Where's me hatch? Oh, i got to go and do it. I, I didn't do it properly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Get it in the old hands. And now what? I can go and hatch some stuff up, right? Like an Ichithortus, my mortal nemesis. Yeah, get re- Oh, that was a Pelagornis. Ah, uh, it wasn't the seagull that I thought it was. But anyways, you can chop trees down. You can collect stone. Oh, this guy's a beast. Oh, I love this. <gasps> Come here, Pegamastex. Come here. Yeah, no, that wasn't- Yeah, no, it wasn't Pegamastex. I thought it was an otter for a second. Although it was a child, poor thing. Anyways, while I'm here, we may as well go and, like, chop up some trilobites. These guys have, like, incredible loot uh, that we can never really have too much of at our current point in the series. It's good stuff. It's a good time for this goodness. Um, oh, my gosh, guys. I, I seriously, I, I still can't believe we did it. I still can't believe us as a community, the Miola family, me, you guys together as one, we somehow managed to reach a number as large as 750,000 subscribers uh, seriously, massive thanks to each and every one of you guys who helped out by watching, by by commenting, liking my videos, subscribing to the channel, uh, you know, following on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I don't really use that, but I've got a Facebook page. Just in any way, shape or form, just supporting me with positivity and just helping out the computer. The Discord, shout out to the Discord, Discord.gg slash Miola, of course, as well. Um, I couldn't have done it without you know, I feel like every little bit of our community has has helped us reach this this massive goal. And uh, just massive thanks to everybody. But it doesn't stop here. No, no, no. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. I feel like I feel like it would be wrong to be like, you know, we've reached our goal today. But how about another goal? No, no, no. We'll, we'll have a bit of a cool off, you know. Tomorrow, I'll hit you guys with the next goal. Make sure you stay tuned for it gonna be a big one old slicey dicey anyways uh let's go for a spin let's go for a bit of a journey let's go and find something to tame now that we've finally managed to actually get to a point where we can survive out and about it's longer than three seconds uh maybe it's time we actually go out and try and you know explore a little bit uh i'm saying that maybe i should just level up my guy here a little bit just to make sure that he's actually gonna you know survive <laughs> the way i need him to um let's get that melee damage up a little bit i feel like i should get him his own Wait, why don't I get you a sword? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, before we go anywhere, let me just let me just lunge back home. I gotta get him his own weapon. Like, I want my own pike, okay? We, we're gonna need to keep that. However, now that... Uh, wait, you just collected all that, all those resources, didn't you? Yeah. So let me grab that. Oh, wait. I should get one of those transfer guns, and then we can just transfer all of our, all of our resources all in one hit. That's what I should do. Let me just go like this, though. All right. Light it up. We're gonna smelt this metal um and hopefully wait a second can i not craft a sword yet oh <gasps> level 30 no uh no i'm gonna wait three levels that sucks no that's a little bit annoying all right it is what it is though what are you gonna do nothing we can do about it okay cool 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 cool, cool. well slicey let's go my friend it looks like we're going empty-handed well, I mean, I've got my pike, but you've got nothing. But it's only going to mean, like, the slightest little extra bit of damage anyways. I'm wondering if I can take on this Kano, though. 16,000 health. I feel like I could do it. Also, is this, like, OG Kano? Or does he... I feel like he looked a little different, but I, could, I couldn't work out why. Anyways, let's take him down. I don't care how he looks. Either way, he's getting ground out into the ground. Also, my dude here be collecting fiber as well. That was just too easy. Uh... Is my guy here just like the ultimate harvester or what? Like, he'd be collecting everything. He just got eight levels from killing a Kano. Uh, but look at the fiber he just collected. 10,000 fiber from a couple bushes? When did this become a thing? When did it? Be when did Mantis has become so like, just all terrain? It's like an all terrain vehicle. This guy can do anything except fly, really. He can literally do it all. Also, what is going on over there? There is, okay. All right, we starting to like. There's like a whole pack of pteranodons across the river, and they were like, "Look, I got special ability." Hello, I just gained seven levels from killing a Kano. We've reached level thirty. I can go and get my sword now if I really want to. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna put a bunch of levels into weights though. I think, and we're gonna jump straight into the water. Apparently, we will just slice our way through the water just in case. And I think level thirty also. Actually, what is this pteranodon? 
the snow pteranodon. He looks so cool. Oh, creepy little bugger. I see you there. Nice try, though. Nice try. Uh, okay. Okay. This is where we previously saw a, um, what do you call the, what, what's the big fella that we saw over here? Broodmother. We saw a broodmother, but I don't see him anymore, so we might be safe. Just gonna go and steal some oil off of my buddy over there, too. Um, oh, I can do it. Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. Little insect dudes. Give me a chitin, even though it's like the smallest little bit. But this over here is who I was looking at. What is a Oh, we got a couple of raptors over here as well, by the way. But have a look at these two going at it. I didn't even know which one's more beautiful. They're both like equally awesome looking, but I'm just trying to trying to get, get an idea. We've got a shock Uteraptor and a shock Tyranodon. They're both shocky beasts and they're both about to die. Well, it looks like Tyranodon went down first and oh, okay, this is bad. Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't. Fine, fine. Mantis, protect me, protect me, Mantis. Protect me, Mantis. Ugh. Okay, I got shocked, but I didn't get pounced. Oh, I should try and tame him. Also, he'd be healing up, I think. I don't know. Is he healing? Oh my gosh. I feel like I need a shock raptor, man. Oh, uh, can I use a cross? I can use a crossbow, but he's going to try and run up here on me. Ants, not the time. Not the time. Ah, he got up. He got up. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I panicked, guys. I had I had a whole day yesterday of success to the point where I've just I just I just froze up today and I forgot what to do in high intensity situations. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's not good. Should I bring my Dilo with me? Maybe my Dilo might be able to like help us out here by spitting a little bit of venom. My Mantis surely got what it takes to like kill him, though, right? I can see them fighting, but I I can't see what. There they go. Oh, dude, he deals a lot of damage. Like a lot. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yes, he's hitting harder now. That's it, Mantis. Hit it with all you've got, big guy. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. They are entering the water. I don't know. I don't know who the water's going to help. Let's go, Slicey. Take him down, buddy. Take him down. Ooh, he's backing away. Oh, no. Piranhas. Piranhas. All right, Slicey, come this way. Come this way. Slicey. Okay, nope. They're going at it again. They're fighting. They're still fighting. Don't follow me, Slicey. Fight him. Fight him, or maybe don't. No, no, no. Passive. He's actually coming. He's actually... Leave. Leave the raptor. Leave the raptor. Come on. This could be a matter of life or death. And if it's... uh, Yeah, if, that, if that's if that's what it's between, I'd rather you alive, buddy. I'd much rather you alive. I'm happy to sacrifice myself, but uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. He nearly died. He nearly died. I'm getting his butt out of there right now. We're going to get him healed up. Oh, Slicey. Look at the raptor. He's still coming as well. But. Oh, I thought he was going to run up that cliff for a second there. All right. Stay right where you are, Slicey. Stay right where you are. Um, Where's the little shock boy? There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, I don't have my crossbow. Of course I don't. I died. Also, he's trying with like all his might to get up here. This is not what I want to be seeing. Uh, Okay. Not good. Not good. Not good. What am I even? What am I meant to do? Uh, we got a shock raptor who's now like protecting the beaches. Um, I don't have any way, shape, or form of doing anything to him. And I can't get my items back, which I need. Otherwise, I can't knock him out. Um, I can still like make... Oh, no. Yeah, pretty much my items are gone now. See, there's another raptor over there. There's two of them now. And there's one down here. So we're going to get through three like elemental looking raptors before we get our items. But fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Let's go for a backup plan here. Okay. Dicey might be your time to roll my friend, uh, but I'm going to need another crossbow. So don't mind me. going to waste some resources here for a second. Don't mind me. Going to get some arrows as well while I'm at it. I don't care how many. Just give me arrows. Give me arrows. 100. Fine. Just craft up as many as we need. I don't care. Uh, and then we're going to get some of these improved... Nope, can't get those. We're going to get the regular ones. Yes, we are. Just one, apparently. What, do I not have narco berries? Do I... Really? Wait, like... For real? I'm missing... What, I got, I, what do you mean? What do you mean? I should have... I got no narco berries. Okay, great. Fantastic. I don't even have a good way of, like, collecting them either. I'm pretty... Yeah, no, I don't have a good way. I need a herbivore. Oh, my parasol got obliterated the other day, didn't he? Sad, 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 sad. All right, that's fine. Let me just take down these little ordinary arrows then. 
And then maybe... He's still down there. Look at him. He's still trying to chase me. Are you serious? Uh, all right. Fine, fine, fine. You want to play that game, do you, buddy? Fine. I'll bring out the, uh, the weapons of mass destruction. Let's bring out some bowlers. So all I want to do is hit him with a few bowlers and just see how much torpor these arrows of mine actually, like, do. Because if they deal a bunch... There's a... Ch oh, is he stuck over there? It looks a little wedged up in the little rock systems down there, doesn't he? Nope, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful here, because whatever we do could lead to not only our death, but Slicey's death as well. We don't want that. I'm happy to... I'm happy to give you my death, but not Slicey's death. Maybe I should just jump down there and, like, fight him one-on-one. -on -one. That was a horrible bowler throw. I don't even know why I bothered with it. Um, watch this. You ready? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I was about to jump down onto that rock. I was like, yeah, I'll be safe down there. Don't worry. I got this. Not quite. Not quite. Mm, okay, let's go. Who cares? What's the worst that's going to happen? I lose my bowler. Hey. Hey. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. No, it's not. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Ah, I'm legit stuck. Why am I stuck right now? What is this game? I just realized I don't have my... Didn't I have two? I thought I... Oh, well. Oh, I can jump again. I don't know what this game... Like, what this game is doing right now. But my dude here about to wake up. I think. And I'm about to get destroyed. I so had enough time to go and get my mantis as well. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's running away. Oh, sleep. It's happening again. Oh, come on. Oh, you... Oh, come on. This is dumb. What is happening? Why is it that I'm just... I'm just running around casually and I just start floating? What causes that to happen? That's such a dumb thing to... That's not my fault. That's not my fault. I refuse to accept that one there is my fault. Gosh. That is horrendous. That is so bad. Oh. See... Oh, my guy here doesn't stand a chance, does he? Dicey. Like... Ah. Oh. No, because I'm just going to get... I'm just going to get pinned straight off of him. Like, there's... Oh, damn it. I got to get my items back. That's all there is to it. And my guy down there still will be guarding the beach. So, hmm. I'm not even concerned about him. I'm just going to go for it, man. I, f I, got, I got hope in my dude here. I don't have hope in myself. Straight into the water. Yeah. All right. We seem to have dodged... The old shock raptor for a start. So that's good. Problem is... A couple raptors still lie ahead of us. Let me just get every little bit of experience I can get along the way. My guy here is at least healed up mostly. Mostly. Still got a little bit to go. But not too bad. Okay. I don't know what this red raptor is. But there might be two of them. Alright, hold on. Might be okay here. It was death. I'm way too close. That's like a lava raptor or something, isn't it? All right, we got our stuff. I probably, I probably claimed victory there a little bit too early, but we, we did it. It's all good. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? At least I can see what this raptor is over here. It's a flame. It's not a lava. These guys do look cool though. So supposedly these are the creatures that have replaced um, the bad asses. From, <laughs> I don't, it feels, bad, it feels weird saying badass in my videos, but that's what the dinosaurs used to be called in the original Anunnaki Genesis. They were called badass dinosaurs. Um, I don't know much about them, uh, but uh, yeah, they've been changed to flame, shock, and I, I guess there's a couple, frost, I guess. Maybe there's a couple other alternatives. I don't really know. Uh, but regardless, we gotta be careful. What I wanna do. Regardless, these guys are strong, so we do need to be careful. What I want to do, though, is hit this guy with an arrow. He's running away from me, though. I just want to see how much torpor one of the one of our, one of our arrows deals, and then from there we can like decide how many more we want to actually like hit with. Uh, maybe. Okay, now that we've got our arrows, what I actually could do, get a couple bowlers. <laughs> yes, we already tried the bowler approach, but now we have our arrows and our crossbow and our spyglass. So we can, like, you know, properly see what we're actually doing here. So, give me five. Or not. Wait, I can't type up. Man, the game feels so weird. 
What is going on? Buttons are like, no, buttons aren't working properly for some reason. Okay, now we can do it. I feel like the mantis is broken in some way. I don't really know. Oh, uh, by the way, I could, I can walk when hopping off of my mantis now. So whatever that issue was last episode, it's, it's not there anymore. So that's, that's, that's a nice thing. So I just want to find out what these things are going to do. So we're going to, I'm going to die. Got him. Okay. All right. Not bad. Ooh, it's going to take a couple. It's going to take a whole bunch as a matter of fact. But, okay, we can deal torpor. I don't know if it's going to be enough. And my guy here is about to wake up. Okay, now we run. Now we run. Now we run, I said. Now we run. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know how fast he is compared to us. I need this shock raptor in my life, though. All right, nice, nice, nice. Yes, okay. So as long as I use my mantis to get me out of here, we should be able to just slowly wear this guy down. Got him. All right, nice. Nice. All right, gear him up and let's go. There we go. The thing is, his torpidity drops really, really quickly, doesn't it? Like super fast. It's a she as well. Uh, but... Yeah, we actually might not be able to do this. I need more arrows and I don't have the berries that we need, which means I guess what I do need. Ah, he's a herbivore. No. <laughs> Why can't my man just get me berries? He just wants to give me a ton of fiber instead. Okay, so maybe we need a parasaur after all. That's so disappointing. Or, you know, just any type of herbivore at all. I don't care what type it is. Hey, Patchy. You want to get, you want to get killed? I need experience. I want to do more damage. In fact, maybe I should, oh, oh, it's two of them. Okay, I did not know this. That would have been helpful to know beforehand. All right, there we go. Get rid of everything. Take them all down. And we got some more experience too. One more level for my dude here. And one more level for me. Who is now level 35. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, this is where I died a couple times. This is where I lit. Oh, we got about the Indominus Rexes out here. Man, I died four times out here. There's four gravestones in such a small area. Uh, yeah, I got to be careful if I'm heading in this direction. Indominus Rex. Oh, he's untamable as well. And he be roaring. Not at me, thank Maybe at me? I don't know. Either way. He way too strong for me. 530,000 health. A little bit too much for my liking. Man, I'm overheating out here. It must be hot. Also, just had an idea. I don't know why I didn't think of doing this like ages ago. I forgot that these ruins actually have Explorer notes in them that give us like experience boosts. Why did I think of doing this like ages ago when we wanted to like level up really, really fast? It didn't even, it didn't even like pass my mind. Either ways, now we have it. So we have experience boostages. Um, hey, Parasaur, too weak. Too weak, but give me that experience. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. Sold to the highest bidder. Um, yeah, no. If I'm getting a, if I'm getting a herbivore, it needs to be it needs to be a little bit of a higher level, I think. I'm trying to think actually. There is Enosaurs don't collect berries, do they? You on the other hand. Level five something. You're what I'm looking for, buddy. Yes, indeed you are. Uh downside here is we're gonna have to use our arrows to do it. Uh, but that's not the end of the world. I'm going to knock him out. I want to, I want to like, I want a little speedy recovery. You know what I mean? I want to get this done as quick as possible. So I'm just going to go and go. Whoop. Yeah, I should just use my Dilo for this, shouldn't we? Dilo, we're so good at this type of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to use our arrows instead. But it's okay because my guy here, he's going to give us unlimited. I hope. Unlimited. Berries. That's the plan. Until he dies, of course. Uh, regardless, he's going to wake up. Unfortunately, not good. Not good. Not good. Need my dialo. Need my dialo. Also, I think I can just craft up a couple extras. Three of them to be exact. Lucky for me. <laughs> he decided to run straight into my face. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Don't. Uh, uh, passive. What are you doing? Slicing. Slicing. Get it out. Oh, I'm floating again. Yay. Yippee. Nice. All right. Get you in there. And what am I missing for one of these old fellas here? Medros and Narcos, hey? 
I only need one of them too. Actually, my, my guy here be eating rather quickly, so it's not even a big deal. All right, something is dying in the area, which makes me feel rather uncomfortable. Ah, ah, no. All right, now you can defend me, Mantis. Mantis, Mantis. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's why they said your dinosaur's the passive. Oh my God, Dilo came out of nowhere. I heard him too. That's the worst part. I heard it. I heard something, but it just sounded like a dodo was getting scared of his shadow or something. I didn't actually, oh man. Well, the deaths continue, but can we balance it with the right amount of progress? I swear if that Dilo touches my new Parasaur, I'm gonna bite its head off. Also, where was that Dilo when I was trying to knock out the Parasaur? It would have been perfect if it just popped up halfway through then, helped me take him down, and then I could have finished the Dilo off. But yeah, that'd just be, that'd just be too lucky, wouldn't it? That'd just be too easy. All right, he's still munching on my dead body. Slicey, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Bam, bam, caboozle, or shamos, bamos. There we go. Nicely done. All right, cool. <laughs> I mean, we still got a heat wave, so that's not very cool, but at least uh, at least we can get this thing here happening, right? Uh, what was I doing? I was getting you a, a, a thing. Did I end up crafting it? Maybe I fed it to him already? Ah, who knows? Whatever's. Let's just get our gear back on. Uh, let's wait for my dude here to eat all his berries. No, I didn't feed it to you. Maybe I didn't even craft one then. What? I had everything I needed. Medjo's and Naka berries. All right. Maybe I... I don't know what happened. Maybe I died while I was crafting it. If that happens, do you lose the items? I guess that might be a thing. Sounds like it could be. There is borderline, like, no point even feeding this to him because he's like... He's taming up fast enough anyways, but oh well. I'm not sure what this, hey, there we go. I'm not sure what this weather is right now. It kind of sounds like a bit of a windstorm or something. It's the, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know if I'm like imagining it or what. It's just bizarre. I guess there is some sort of like windstorm going on. Anyways, we got a saddle for my dude here. We have another tame. Another tame without losing a tame. It almost sounds like, it almost sounds like <laughs> it just doesn't sound real. It doesn't sound like real life. It sounds like a dream. Anyways, my guy here is already smashing together all of these Naka berries, which is exactly what I want to be seeing. Now, what am I missing? Oh, no, 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 no. I need these ones here. Yeah. Five arrows. Nah, it's only a matter of time now, though. I'm going to grab like a thousand Naka berries. We're not going to stop a second sooner. I'm going to take them all home, get a bunch of these arrows. And we're going to go and knock out that stinking little shock raptor. He may have taken me down, but I'm going to take him down. He took me down twice, actually. So I'm going to team him twice. No, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to team him, though. I feel like he would be awesome to have in our squad. Something that moves as fast as a raptor that actually has the ability to do torpor and shock dinosaurs. I feel like that's the type of beast I need in my squad. So I'm not going to stop until I get it. Ah, well, at least the weather's uh, kind of fixed itself up a little bit. We have ourselves another 22 arrows, which means 30 altogether. I think that's actually probably going to be enough for us to get the Raptor, but I, you know, just to be careful, just to be safe. I want those couple little extra ones because we, we all know that the, the, the Torpor on the Raptor seem to drop really, really quickly when we're trying to tame him up a second ago. So we don't want to be facing that issue again. We want to make sure this time is the last time. And I'm taking that Raptor home. That's all there is to it. All right, now we're talking. Now the 29 of them, that pretty much doubles our supply. I'm feeling pretty good about this one here. As long as we got the bowlers to make it happen, we got this thing. And now it's raining? It was like a heat wave a second ago. Now it's raining? In fact, we still got this darn windstorm as well. Fantastic. I love it. All right. So we're here. We pretty well got everything that we need. I'm going to get some extra bowlers just to make sure that we survive this ordeal. Because if we don't, I'm going to be very, very sad. 10 bowlers should be able to get the job done. Now that's all that's left to do is find our little shocky friend and uh, shoot some arrows at his face. There he is. I think he's actually chewing on the body of something. So, what am I looking at? Does he still have any torpor? Six point? Okay, okay, okay. Seems the work we did to him earlier hasn't completely gone to waste. And that fella could not have come at a better time. It's given us the time to line up our target. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Also, I'm floating again. I don't know why. I'm floating. I guess the whole mantis problem hasn't completely, like, disappeared just yet. 
So I'm just going to keep on popping these fellas straight into that face of his while we craft up some more bowlers. <laughs> oh, gosh. I really got to, like, be more prepared with this sort of stuff, don't I? What I'm kind of curious, I don't know if he's going to run towards me or away from me when he gets, like, unbowlered. But uh, just to be safe, I'm going to get some distance between us. Because it's only a matter of time before he does decide to get revenge. Here he comes. Nice. Nice. Perfect. 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 See, this time I can run. It's like a 50-50 on whether or not the game wants you to be able to run around or float on, on, the, on dry land after you've uh, hopped off your mantis. I don't know. Either ways. Doesn't matter. Keep on popping these arrows across. I'm glad we got the extras because I don't know if we would have had what it takes to get him all the way down. I think what I'm most excited about here, though, is this guy here. It looks so darn cool. It's going to be awesome. All right, please run away from me because I don't think I'm ready. All right, cool, cool, cool. He's running. That's going to give us a little bowler cooldown. That apparently is a thing, according to all of you guys. And now we're going to wait for him to charge because it's going to happen. Come on, buddy. Charge up. Let's go. He keeps getting stuck on, like, branches. I reckon he's lacking the confidence. He knows that I've got... He knows I've got him. Oh, he's stuck. Nice. Yes. Right up the butt. Let's go. Let's do this thing. He's wedged himself between a tree and a cliff. That is what I like to be seeing. I mean, you could have just bit that down. You could have just... You could literally could have torn that tree down. But hey, I, I prefer... I prefer this... Uh, this approach, buddy. Let's go. The last few arrows. We're going to have plenty left over afterwards. And I reckon that might be that. There he is. It's done. Is done. Female shock raptor. It's knocked out, baby. It's knocked out. So, we're going to find some meats. Uh, oh, prime meats. I guess I could give you... Ah, I don't really care. I'll just give you ordinary meats. I don't have any of that. Fantastic. What I do have, though, hopefully, is the ability to have another one of these things, right? I need berries. Of course I do. I think i got to craft up like a bunch of these little tame helpers. They're so helpful. I guess that's why they're called helpers, right? <laughs> but we should definitely get more of them. Um, also, just fighting, you know, dead dead bags that I've left behind from previous days, previous adventures. Uh, all right, let's go. So, uh, it's a helper. I think that's what it's called, right? Or not? Wait, really? What's, a, what's the thing called? It's a small metabolic. I'm going to forget that. 100% I'll forget that. Let's get us... Oh, we got some prime meat here as well. Of course we do. Now let's do this thing. So get one of them into your buddy and then chow down on some prime meat and I'll get you home in no time. Here we go. The shock Uteraptor is all mine and he needs a saddle. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let me help you with that tree though. Let me uh go on. Oh, not quite. Let's get that tree out the way for you, buddy. All right. We got ourselves a new team. We got ourselves two new teams today. Two new teams. They just so happen to need names. So let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you've got any naming suggestions for our shock Uteraptor. And uh, oh, also, obviously, our Compy up there as well. He still needs a name. And our Parasaur. They all need names. Give him some names. And hey, if you got any like cool like coloring suggestions as well, let me know because I have. I think I've got the Dino Colorizer mod. So we can even paint our dinosaurs if we want to give them a little bit more, you know finesse a little bit more character a little bit more of a nice touch all right here we go welcome to welcome to the welcome to our humble abode my friend damn look at the skin on this thing damn look at that skin it's got like a specular feel to it the lightning and then you got the blue undertones like kind of like eminiscing their little oh this is one of the like prettiest looking dinosaurs i think i've ever seen in arc my gosh I cannot wait to take you out on a, like a, a slaying spree. See what you're made of. But guys, I think we're going to call it a day right here, right now. It's been a good one. We've actually succeeded at something. We died a couple times along the way, but we didn't lose any friends. We uh, we actually ended up with more friends than we began with. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for 750,000 subscribers. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead. Push that thumbs up. Make it rain. Those thumbs ups, but most importantly, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.